Howdy folks, going to do a short instructional video for clean water stores for our TDS meter. When you pull the meter out of its case, inside the case there is a, a uh, paper insert. Paper insert will explain all the functions of the total dissolved solids meter. Uh, basically what you're looking at is the top black plastic part comes off and that's where our battery is. The bottom plastic part comes off and that's where the probe part is. You only need to stick the part of the probe at the bottom in the water. You got three buttons, on, off, clear, and mode. When you press the on, off button, it's going to light up, and it's going to clear out. It's going to say zero ppm, which is for total dissolved solids. Now, I have two samples of water here. One is city water, and one is reverse osmosis water. So one of them is going to ding out real hard and have a lot of TDS in it, and the other one is not. All right, the first one I put it into is, is the one, and it rang out at 219 parts per million, and it turned red. And uh, then you press the clear button, you go over to my next sample, where I have the RO water, and it does the display screen, which I don't know if the camera picks up or not, but the uh, display screen does not turn red because you're not getting high enough value on there. So my RO water tested at 19 parts per million, a very low amount of total dissolved solids, as you would expect. The uh, Hitting the mode key will scroll you through the four options you have total dissolved solids and you have electrical conductivity and then you have temperature in celsius and temperature in fahrenheit so for example in fahrenheit right now uh, very quickly and the probe is probably out of the meter here but i'm getting a reading of about 70 degrees is what my water is sitting here right now today because i've had it out for a little while so that's how the tds meter works folks thanks